it's your old pal Rob. Uh, much to my dismay, uh, not dismay, uh, shock, um, I didn't know this anything about this. Um, I've always been a huge fan of FASA games, uh, Renegade, uh, Leviathan, uh, The Last Starfighter, all the things that they did. So when they came out with um, Interceptor, uh, either stream, either stream, I, I, I had to bring it in. I didn't care what it did. Funny little story that I'll tell on the other side of this, but we're going to go down to the table. I'm not going to explain every rule. Um, but we are going to take a look at this. We're going to talk about it. And uh, we're going to see what this is all about. And if it's for you. God, I love space battles. I sure do. Let's go down. Okay, so I'm not going to explain everything. But I really want you to see this. Because this is very, very old school. Um, I'm going to try to explain some of the rules. I'm not going to explain everything. I want to make sure this map folds out. It's a lot bigger. I just want to do like a little itty bitty demo here. That, so you get an idea of what's going on. Everything's going to work off of your cards. You have your ship card and then your pilot card. Okay. For each individual ship. Okay. And, and you get a bunch of ships in here. So I want to make sure that you guys see that. So you're So the starter set is going to give you a ton of ships. Okay. And uh, we're going to talk more about that uh, up top. And, man, you get a rule book. Yeah. It's going to break down everything. It's going to kind of give you a whole bunch of scenarios that you can play through. Uh, the rules the rules aren't that hard. Um, I, I think there's almost more fluff to it than there is anything else. The hard part is, is actual movement. And what's going to happen is you're going to roll for initiative. You're going to take your, your highest pi pilot's value. And then um, you're going to roll a D10, which you're going to get a ton of D10s and stuff like that. Uh, and you're going to roll. And then um, uh, that person's going to go first. They're going to move their first ship. And after all the ships move, then you're going to go to your weapon phase. And that's where you're going to shoot. Now, moving is not the easiest of things to do. You have this chart, and which is basically, this This is your ship sitting right here. So if you want to move to this square here, I'm sorry my, my ship fell off here, but we're not gonna stop. We, you know, we don't cut things, okay? We just kind of put that in there. And because I gotta paint these, I didn't wanna glue these in. So you're gonna take, and you are going to move a certain. So if I want to move three here, I would go one, two, three, and I want to face zero. Well, the modifier there would be, uh, zero and all I have to do is keep within my thrust range which is seven okay so I don't want to go over that or else I, I have a chance of, of things going wrong but uh, for each movement you and you're facing you are going to have certain penalties that you're going to pay uh, uh, as you do that and it's going you have to work off your thrust and your piloting skill of course now once everybody has moved uh, depending on how close you are, you are going to fire on each other. And uh, for instance, here, our firepower, you have, sh um, you're going to roll five dice if we're up close. So if this, this, this was right there, that's close. So you're going to get five dice right off the bat, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take, and, and it's really spelled out for you really nicely on this, this really beautiful uh, initiative sheet that they have, I mean, a, a quick reference guide. It's going to be your gunnery power and your firepower. So what's, your, what's the pilot's gunnery? Well, he's got two, so he's going to get two more. Now, there's a couple other modifiers that will go in there, but we're not going to go crazy on that. Anything over a seven is going to be a hit, okay? So we're going to roll, and we're going to see what happens. Well, as you can see, the dice really make it really easy. Eight, eight, and boy, uh, typical rolling here. Uh, that's all I got was two hits. But if I was to get the A here, which represents a 10, that would be an exploding die. So I would get to roll another die. And oh, I got another 10, so I would be able to roll again. Uh, five, that's not gonna do anything. So we've got these two, we've got these four hits. Okay, then what we're going to do is there's going to be defensive test. Any kind of shielding, okay, they have three shielding, and uh, we're going to go off their piloting skill, which is four. So that's going to be seven dice on the other side that they're going to roll, that they're going to try to block any kind of uh, hit. So we've got six here, seven. So let's see what happens. Boom. Uh, and, and of course, one, 
two, three, four, which is more than enough. And then you got a 10 there. Oh, and 11. Completely blocked everything, okay? All right, so no hits are there. Then this person would fire back. But let's just say for all old times sake that there were, that they couldn't, they couldn't block anything. Well, then you're gonna to have to roll on a hit chart to see what happens here, okay? And this is where it gets interesting. So I got an eight, so I got one hit at an eight, and that would have been a penetrating hit. Penetrating hit, resilient damage, all crew take one hit. Ooh, not good. Well, you have things on here that you are going to mark off, and if you lose your pilot, guess what? Uh, not a good thing because he's gone forever. So, and the nice thing about this, these cards are, are these you're going to get these markers in there and you're going to be able to draw on here you're going to be able to take away certain things and and things like that you're going to mark off if you lose any shields or anything like that um and they got different things that you, and if you ever roll a 10 well guess what the pilot the, the fighter explodes and then you're going to have to see if if your pilot can eject because you want to keep these pilots and use them in a campaign setting which this just has a very, very old school feel to it. There's missiles, there's all kinds of different scenarios that you're gonna get. And shockingly, you know, I knew nothing about this game. I saw it and I said, well, I have to have it. Um, uh, there's a certain velocity that you're going to be going in and that's going to vector into your travel and, and how you do things on your maneuver tr tr uh, chart here because that's gonna bring you a bit of trouble, okay? So there's a lot of different things here. Uh, and there's some actions in here, like bring weapons online if you have to, dodge recovery, eject recovery control because you can get knocked out. You could be knocked unconscious. Uh, you're gonna wanna roll and test that. Restart your drive engines in case they saw out. There's all kinds of different bad things that can happen to you. Uh, the game moves pretty quickly, but it, the decisions and the movements is what kind of slows this down a little bit but this has a very old school feel from a very old school company we're going to talk more about this up top just a quick little overview there's more stuff that i didn't even cover uh, you get two maps with this um there there's just tons and tons of just really awesome little cutesy rules in here that really make this unique and gives that fighter feel this is something that i i really can say is a contender against a silent death because it has that old school remember this company did the original renegade they did last starfighter which was fantastic and and tons of fasa is it was a fantastic company and to see them come back and start doing things demon world you're going to be seeing them do and stuff like that so this this, this breath of life that they brought back, this is just very exciting. And to see this out there, very, very exciting. And I can't wait to show you more about it and talk more about it up top. I really like this a lot. Um, the ships are perfect. It's great to see FASA back. A matter of fact, I, I saw that they are planning on doing Demon, Demon World again. Uh, I have the original, which is, you know, off the charts, and I, I love it. So I'm excited to see that come out. I'm so excited to see this come out. Um, this is very old school, very, 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 very old school. And um, uh, movement can be a little complicated, but once you get past that and once you get used to it, it's fine, you know, making sure that, that you're using the proper thrust and velocity and, and making sure that that you you know you get your penalties and everything right. There's a lot of a little mathy things in it, which is very old school, very old school um, with modifiers and stuff like that. The combat system is 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 fantastic. Um, you can you can take a, a, a fighter out and and you know you can gang tackle a, a fighter and basically take it out or misstep, okay, and then end up end up in in another uh fighter's arc and and just get punished for it uh very strategic uh the maps are nice uh if you have a uh a neoprene map you know star map with with a hex grid on it, it it's just as good um so you know that's something that you can look forward to um this does all those things that you want it to do 
and um, um, as far as if you are looking for an old school um, space battle fighter game this is one to hunt down and find it you can find it on amazon uh you can find it at um well they were supposed to have it at miniature market they actually made a huge mistake and accidentally uh because i had originally ordered it there um and i wish i could find it but they sent me a bunch of fighters when i ordered the core game and I was like, well, this ain't it. And they go, oh, so, oh here it is. Uh, so I ended up with a bunch of uh, terrain, uh, terrain uh, Commonwealth, which I didn't need. So now I got over, over an abundant and I got more fighter, um, uh, 17 new fight, fighter pilots. So now I got to go get the other set to go with it. Okay, what am I going to do? That's all right. Uh, you could buy these and the rule book separately or get the core set. I think you get the core set and you're all set and ready to go. Uh, it was a mistake by, by Miniature Market, but I was able to find this on Amazon and got it here pretty quickly, reasonably priced, and I was excited about it because they were out of it actually. So you're gonna wanna look on eBay or um, um, on Amazon. You will find it fairly quickly and it is very reasonably priced. This is a game that you have to try. Uh, I really uh, suggest it. Um, Interceptor. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get a hold of Fast and say, "Hey, hey, bros, uh, help a brother out here. Um, we're 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 really going to paint these up and we're going to do a job for you." So um, I, I think it'll be exciting to show this off on the channel. We'll get to it. We'll talk more about it on the podcast as well. Uh, so there you go, guys. Interceptor from Fasa. Remember Fasa? How glorious were they and they're making a comeback they have my fullest support and that's for sure because those games were great and I, I have plenty of wonderful wonderful memories and now they're here for a new generation and that's exciting unto itself until next time it's your old pal Rob see you soon everybody mm -hmm.